What is going on guys? Welcome back to Channel Critical Overlord here. So we're going to be talking about Screen 5 again today. The first reactions for Screen 5 came out today. We also got a new image as you see on your screen of Ghostface. And we also found out some tidbits about, not tidbits, we found out that the uh, Red Carpet premiere next Tuesday is going to be getting or it's not going to happen it's been canceled but they did confirm in the variety article that came out that as of right now because again this could always change that there is no plans to delay the film itself from its release that it has coming next week so from the article itself it says that press and radio promotional screenings as well as the wide theatrical release of the fifth title in the hit series created by Wes Craven will still proceed on the big screen as planned so this of course to be something for all of you to be remain calm I know a lot of you were looking forward to the Red Carpet premiere and seeing all the cast come together and have some nice happy photos and see what the reception was like from the Red Carpet premiere. But the movie was screened indeed for critics earlier this week and today and the social embargo lifted it like I was telling you guys it would lift today. And a lot of the reactions so far have been mostly positive. I did come across one negative one. I'm not going to show that one here. Not because I don't care about it, but because it was just that it was just one negative one that seems to be kind of just going against what everyone else is saying. Whereas I just I just don't want to show it because it seems like this person is kind of trolling, but they they say they not they are not. And I want to trust them, <laughs> uh, but I also don't want to just harp on the negativity about the film just yet. I want to do that for myself in my own time if I have my gripes with it. We also found out today that Brian Tyler's score for the film will be dropping tonight on Spotify and all the other platforms. But the, there's a track called New Horizon that came out and it sounds amazing. It sounds fantastic. And I'll leave a link to that down in the description. But we're going to jump right on into these reactions that have been coming out from the screen press screenings that went on uh, later or earlier today and throughout the week and the social embargoes now lifted. So here we have one from Perry Perry. Perry from Collider. I have seen the new screen movie and it's a winner. Yes, it's bloody, but also feels loaded with love and reverence for the original and the fandom it amassed and felt like it was talking to me to a degree. So that's again of positive reaction nice to hear that from perry i watched a lot of the collider videos i love most of the things she does on her channel as well so one little positive reaction i'm gonna jump into some other ones that are coming up so this is going to be a trend of just positive reaction won't see many negatives just positives so we have here from megan and mary beth what a welcome return to Woodsboro Scream is a razor sharp, bloody introspection on the genre and Wes Craven's legacy. All the feels and one hell of a genre start to 2022. My horror heart is so full. Scream is good. Jenna Ortega and Jasmine Savoy Brown in particular stand out. That's all I will say for now. I will say that Jasmine Savoy Brown, I'm seeing that with these reactions, she's getting a lot of attention as I had a feeling she would. Just something about Jasmine Savoy Brown, even though I was mostly excited for Dylan Minnette when he got casted, something about what I have seen from her and that recent show that she's in, I think it's called Yellow Jackets, she's killing it. So I can't wait to see how many comes to life. Here's another one. As someone who has been in love with the franchise for a little over 25 years now, I totally and completely love Scream. Brutal kills, fun mystery, and both the legacy cast and newbies were great. Wes would be so proud. So the mentioning of Wes being proud, again, the more these reactions come out and the more positive they are, even if it's negative. Uh, the mention of just the fact of Wes in and of itself with all this positivity, I know it's going to be very emotional for some people. More specifically, definitely got to be very emotional for Nev, Courtney and David and the whole entire Radio Silence team. So here's another one it says, I love Scream. It pokes fun at itself, elevated horror and has a lot to say about movie fandom. Like we've already been told, it leans deep into legacy in the right ways and uses the Scream family to to great and surprising effect. New crew is excellent, too, especially Jenna Ortega. Jenna Ortega, we know, is playing Tara Carpenter in the film of honestly, a lot of people are going to be going to be surprised at the outcome of what happens at the opening. I feel like if they're not like us and they've been kind of playing detective with this movie and just knowing having a hunch that she's going to survive the opening attack. Can't wait to see what Jenna Ortega brings to the table. Here's another one. The new Scream is a blast and my favorite since the original. There's some sharp writing here, a nice balance of well-crafted scares and amusing commentary on modern horror. It also pucks a lot of fun in itself too, while remaining a bloody whodunit and a damn good time. I'm a fan. So the fact of the matter that the movie in and of itself, of course, I expected to be commenting on re -re on requels, which is the latest trend we have of a lot of horror franchises being revived and ignoring a lot of their sequels to be direct sequels to one in particular film in the in the franchise. 
like what Halloween's doing. While in and of itself, Scream is kind of doing that while not doing it completely. <laughs> so we have Nate Abrams who said, Scream is a bloody good time and serves as a touching homage and continuation for Wes Craven's iconic franchise and features some of the gruesomest, most original killings of the series. Legacy cast perfectly blends with the fresh meat. Jasmine Savoy Brown is the MVP. There's another mention of Jasmine Savoy Brown. So Mindy Meeks Martin, I know that's going to be on everyone's radar. She's going to be on everyone's radar. These reactions, of course, do not mean that Mindy makes it out of the film alive. There's been plenty of movies where someone has just been an MVP and they still ended up dying. So I don't want anyone to harp on the fact that it sounds like Jasmine Mindy Meeks is going to be living. The last one we have here. The Scream movie is it. The nostalgia of it all took me back to the original film instantly. The cast was great. It's hilarious. And of course, the jump scares got me good. Shout out to the writers on this one because the writing in this is superb. So this, again, just I'm, I'm loving the fact that people are honing in on the or talking about the writing. How good the writing was to them anyway. I'm just now very curious to see what my thoughts will be on Monday after I see it. Because of the fact that with with them talking about the writing, I am going to be very listening very closely to the dialogue and all the other things that are being done in this film when it relates to character development, etc. All the twists and turns and how that all just comes back on rewatches and how that flows when you rewatch the film because of how genius the writing seems to be. So that was all I have regarding the positive reactions that have come out. If you want to listen to the score again, that's coming from Brian Tyler later tonight. For some people, they have access to it already. I went on Spotify and tried to go on a few other platforms. I don't have access to it. It's supposed to be out at midnight for everyone on the 7th of January. And in, if in, you're in other countries and other territories, of course, it's already that time. So that's how that's getting leaked. And well, not leaked, but some of us in the States are already listening to it because those of you who already have access to it are sharing it with us. But those were some good decent reactions that we got so far from the film i know whoever is listening to this right now is very excited and can't wait to see the film for themselves next week not too long from now until we all get to experience it and talk about it and just gush over it and hear how the box office reception is which is actually scream is set to make like 30 to 45 million dollars it's opening weekend so that's gonna be very good so let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there, of course, to let me know any movies, news, or reviews I've been covered in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.